Um, have you ever watched college sports? If you do, then you should think that college athletes should be paid. Today I'm going to be talking about why college athletes should be paid. Three points I'm going to be talking about today are uh, time taken to play a sport in college, the amount of money that the NCAA as a group or as a whole makes, and then the, how much money the coaches make that are coaching the players. First, or the other side of uh, people think that their college athletes should not be paid, think that they may already make money from scholarships. But that's wrong because about 2% of uh, college athletes out of high school make get a scholarship for playing sports. And uh, like the, it varies from how much money they get, but only about 2% of it get a scholarship. So the time taken in playing a sport in college, according to businessinsider.com, takes about uh, – college athletes spend about 40 hours a week practicing for their sport and only 38 hours a week in the classroom studying where they should be the most. Um, or the, and they also miss about two classes a week for going like away games, cross country, for all their sports, for whatever sport they're playing. Um, um, they also, here's the hour sheet of what, like how much hours they put in for each sport. Um, for example, like, uh, for example, a college football player, his first week of like football practice, it can be up to 14 hour days in early, like early August, 14 hours days and like blistering heat, um, which, and also, uh, um, every minute from like 8.30 in the morning to like 10.30 at night, he's do they're doing something in football related which is a lot of time, which he could be studying for his classes to get better grades, which brings me to my next point, what the NCAA makes. Um, 2015, the NCAA made over $800 million on the NCAA tournament, which is outrageous. Um, for one, for playing one game in the NCAA tournament, a team conference got $1.7 million of it, of the $800 million. Um, they also, uh, in 2010, reached a 14-year, uh, 10.8 billion deal with TV broadcasting to broadcast all the games, all the events going on with the uh, basketball, football, baseball, whatever sport you want to watch. And uh, and also, the NCAA had 24 um, school athletic programs. Made more, made more than one hundred million dollars, and at the top of the list was uh, Texas A and M. Made over, uh, made about one hundred ninety-three million dollars in uh, funds for like sporting events. Um, which brings me to my next point: what the coaches make. Um, in 2015, 72 coaches made over a million dollars. Just coaching one year, made over a million dollars. At the top of the list is uh, Jim Harbaugh from the University of Michigan, who made $9 million just coaching a team, not even playing, just coaching, um, which is outrageous. Um, to recap, we got the time taken up playing a sport in college, got the amount of money that NCAA makes, which is outrageous how much they make, and how much the money coaches make. So if you're ever watching TV, watching a sporting event, and watching the coach, how they make the money, when they're not out there doing playing any of the sport or doing anything, you should think that the college athletes should get paid instead of the coaches. Thank you.